hopefully you have done this question i ask you to do this question this is in continuation with this question that i uh, did previously uh, where we sh uh, we found the point of intersection between this parabola and the line and we did this in two ways first using the graphic calculator and then how to do it algebraically so continuing with this the same question uh, not the same question, slightly changed in the sense that line, this line is pivots, means it moves like this and just touches the parabola. So it says pivots out to cut, suppose this is the point of uh, the pivot point, this is pivoting, uh, it was previously like this and now it pivots and it just touches or uh, it cuts the parabola at only one point C. So this is the point of intersection. Or basically this line has become the tangent now. And you want to find the equation of this line. Now, if you know how to write the equation of a line, you should be knowing as level 2 students or year 12 students. The equation of this line is y is equal to, uh, it, this has a negative gradient. So in the previous example, the gradient was minus 6x, okay. Now, this would be uh, slightly, uh, it has become less negative, okay. So, we can say that the equation of this line is y is equal to mx minus 18 because we know that the y-intercept is 18, sorry, y, mx plus 18, sorry. Uh, the gradient would be negative, that's what I can say, but because it has a negative slope here, okay. And the equation of the parabola is already y is equal to, we know is minus 2x squared plus 8x. So we can use the same strategy as we discussed in the last example. So y is equal to minus 2x squared plus 8x and y is equal to mx plus 18. So there is one point of intersection or logically this would be you can equate this with this okay so we can say minus 2x squared plus 8x is equal to mx plus 18 so taking away mx plus 18 from both sides you can say minus 2x squared plus 8x minus mx minus 18 is equal to 0 so this is nothing but minus 2x squared. I can factor out an x. I can write 8 minus m in the bracket times x minus 18 is equal to 0. Now from here, we have to use one very important result, which is, uh, now there's only one point of intersection. As there's only one point of intersection, the b squared minus 4ac will become 0. So we can let me write that as only one point of intersection. One point of intersection. b squared minus 4ac a has come from the quadratic formula. b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Okay. And if there are two points of intersection, b squared minus 4ac would be greater than 0. And if there is no point of intersection, it will be less than 0. Now, you may wonder where did this come from. This has come from this formula of, or the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, this is also in some books called determinant. This is a very crucial uh, value which determines uh, also the nature of root and also the points of uh, or the type of intersection. As there is only one point of intersection, this is equal to zero. Okay, we'll check this of course in the graphic calculator. So, what's a when you compare? Now, you should be knowing a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero is the general form of a quadratic equation. So you can compare your a, but when you compare this with this, you can compare your a with negative 2, you can compare your b with 8 minus m, 
and your C with negative 18. So let us put this back into this equation. Let me change color. So this is 8 minus M squared minus 4 times A is minus 2. C is minus 18 is equal to 0. So this is 8 minus M times 8 minus M. If you know how to expand directly, there is a very neat formula, but I'll not go into that. This is minus, minus, and minus will be minus. And this is, let me use a calculator. This is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 18. 8 or 18 times 8 is 144. So this is minus 144 is equal to 0. So if you expand this, this is 64 minus 8m minus 8m plus m squared minus 144 is equal to 0. So now you can write m squared minus 16m minus 8m minus m and 144 minus 144 minus 64. It's always good to use a calculator. Minus 80 is equal to 0. Now this can be factorized with two factors of 80 which gives you 14 are 20 and 4. So this is m minus 20 times m plus 4 is equal to 0. So your gradient is plus 20 or m is minus 4. Now which of them is true in this case? Okay. So m, the gradient of this line, can it be positive? From left to right it's sloping down. So m has to be, here we can write m is less than 0. That's one thing that you can see by just looking at the line. m has to be less than 0. So here we can write, but m is, but m is less than 0, which implies m cannot be 20. Therefore, m is negative 4. So the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 4x plus 18. The equation of the line is minus 4x plus 18. So let us write the equation of the line y is equal to minus 4x plus 18. Okay, now that's that's all. If you do till here, you get an excellence. But you're always good to check your answer. Okay, so go to your graph menu, go to graph, and type in, let me delete this. So the first equation is your line, which is minus, you can write any equation first, doesn't matter, plus 18, and y2 I'll put minus 2x squared plus 8x, and see how the graph looks like. Can you see? This is a tangent, and there will be only one point of intersection, so you go g solve, and intersection. 3, 6 is the point of intersection. If the question was find the point of intersection, you could write the point of intersection is 3, 6. 3, 6. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, see you in the next video.